most albums that you love that are near and dear to your heart they didn't have great first week sales but you still play them today hey yo ease stop focusing on record sales did you like the album one week later are you still playing it if this many people were playing this record and it's all over twitter and people talking about it why don't the numbers reflect it are we saying that the supporters are liars no, i wouldn't say that we just don't know the metrics and how the numbers are accumulated and from which source i was on mass appeal and i didn't even know that you could buy mp3s directly from mass appeal not the itunes store mass appeal so when you have this many moving parts how do we know how accurate these record sales are so if you love the project keep banging it play it but please stop talking about the record sales as if they matter because if you go through a lot of even on twitter i was in this facebook group people were very upset about the first week sales what'd you expect Two hundred thousand? those days are long gone who else is doing that you got to be like Taylor Swift for somebody to do that. No one is really doing that nowadays. Support how you support. But I am noticing one thing. Many people are doubling back. They're changing their tune on their initial uh, thoughts of the album. And that's cool. That's maturity, right? That's getting away from yourself and understanding that I may have had some expectations that couldn't be could have could not have been reached and went back with you know a different palette cleanse your ears and now you're coming around because if you went into this project expecting like a connection to magic one of course you would be disappointed of course but a lot of people were changing their tune and that's a good thing i'm not throwing no shade at anyone that's good that means that you sat down and listened to it dissecting the lyrics even with lyrics like there's no way like i stated last week you could even remotely begin to break down lyrics in less than three days really right because i went live on saturday morning it just had dropped on friday i heard some things here and there he was going off but i didn't catch all of those bars and as i play it more and more Nas is who he is man so once again i'm gonna keep stating this Record sales don't mean anything because like I, if record sales was an indication of whether or not Nas uh, released music or why he released music, we wouldn't have gotten the last four or five projects because based on those numbers, most people seem to think that's a flop. But I think we need to kind of re-gauge what's considered a great first week in 2023 nobody's going gold first week anymore what more can we say and don't let these record sales deter you right because if you think about it i think magic 2 was supposed to debut around twenty-seven thousand first week all right whatever that means right magic was around 30 29 kd3 was around 30 kd2 was around 52,000. but what about 50 kd1 about 47 48 Nazir debuted over 70,000 records were sold. So my whole thing is with this whole record sales debate and people keep equating that to success. Does that mean that Nazir is better than Magic 2? Why are we so fixated on that? And acting as, acting as if we're not supporting certain artists because those streaming numbers are not coming back the way we intended. We don't even know how it works. You don't. With all these streaming phones, I'm going to keep stating this. I mean, we're going past 25, 30 years. Most albums that you love did not have a great first week. Not all, but most that you love did not. They didn't. Just keeping it a being with you, man. Just keeping it up. Also, Distant Relatives, 57,000 first week. I meant to write that down. 57,000. I love that project. That's fire. That's it. So once again, with all these moving parts, streaming, CDs, buying directly from the artist, buying from the iTunes store, Spotify, Tidal, Apple Music, YouTube, Napster, Tweezer, the list goes on and on. There's always going to be funny business with the numbers because anything can be manipulated. 
But when you go to the garden in, in March, when you was there, was it out? Was it show, sold out? The Nas and Wu tour is it sold out? You go on the site. It's a lot of merch that's sold out, not even for sale anymore. Support how you support. But forget all that first week sales nonsense because I can't even tell you the last time I looked at a billboard chart. Billboard 100 used to mean something. Nowadays, I don't know what any of this stuff means. I don't. And he's a he's an indie artist for the most part, you know what I'm saying? So there is no incentive for corporations to eat with him because they can't really eat off of him. Right? Because they didn't do custies. Hey, yo, E. 